one of the great things at the LA Auto Show is you just don't have the run of the mill OEMs. You got a startup here, Bollinger Motors. Jeff Holland is the chief marketing officer for Bollinger, and you're showing off this all-electric SUV. Yeah, and John, it's the it's the first, world's first, all-electric sport utility truck. And we're calling it a, a truck because it's really beefy. If you see the expense, the suspension when we do the walk around, and it's really meant to be kind of a purpose-built, on-road, off-road, traditional design classic vehicle, a real truck. What I like is how boxy it is, and the reason for that, of course, is that you guys are just fabricating this. You really can yeah. do the whole body without any real hard tooling. Yeah, and that's that's intentional for manufacturability. It's it's easier to have straighter panels and people say well it's really boxy, but people compare it to like an old Land Rover Defender or they see it a Jeep or an International Harvester kind of a truck, but it's really purpose built and it's, you know, you see some of the raised riveting here and that's not just for design purposes, but it looks good number one, but it's also built because in stamping we don't need any kind of foam injection moldings which cost more money and as a startup you're obviously looking to conserve money wherever you can and it just kind of turned out beautifully the way that they did it. We're standing at the front end. Let's yeah. show them what the frunk is all about. Yeah, and this is the frunk. So it's kind of a unique turn handle to open up the frunk. And this is kind of the front tailgate or the front lift gate, I guess. Hood comes up and one of the biggest comments we get is, where's the engine, right? When they yeah. come by and look at it because they're expecting to see an internal combustion powertrain of some sort. And another unique feature is the flat load floor uh, because it's it's battery powered and the batteries are, are kind of in the, in the load floor. You've got this front pass through and that's 12 feet stem to stern. So if you're in construction, if you're building something, you're doing a DIY project, you could put two by fours all the way through 12 feet, or if you want to leave this open and put some red flags on it, you can go up to like 20 feet, or piping, or skis, if you're into skiing and recreational stuff up in Michigan, that's fine. And so this is just unused space, so why not use it for extra storage? Okay, let's keep moving. Well, yeah. We should tell our viewers too, if they haven't heard before, a frunk is the trunk in the front. Exactly. And that's, I don't know if that's a Tesla uh, copyrighted uh, term or not, but uh, that's kind of what it's, what it's morphed into because of, of the abundance of electric cars. So now. inside, more simplicity. Inside, more simplicity. And again, purpose-built design. I think the classic design, you've got the chrome bezels here, the gauges that you might see on something that was out of the 60s or 70s. You've got the Prindle, which is kind of like the three on the tree shifter here, and a fuel gauge that shows, obviously there's no fuel, but it shows if you're on a full charge and if it goes down to empty, that's what you'll see here. It's also got kind of a unique HVAC system where if you need to turn on the heater to defrost it in the wintertime and you face it toward the toward the windscreen and if you just want it to blow air on you or air conditioning, you blow it right toward yourself and there's three of those kind of across the dash panel here. You've also got uh, four wheel high and low locking uh, front and rear differentials for off-roading at the parking brake and and some of the other fits and finishes uh, in here we think is, is just kind of really nice and, and again, in a classic design theme. Let's look, take a look at the back. Yeah, because you, wanna, you, you got a story there too. Exactly, if you want to come around to the back, excuse me guys. Again, the flat load floor kind of continues through so uh, you, can, you can push this all the way through and if you want to put four by eight sheets of drywall or plywood, that's exactly four feet by eight foot in the back. Again, purpose-built design. Uh, flip and fold seats, kind of like the old uh, the Honda Elements or something like that. You can That's also right. take them all the way out if you're not using it, uh, if you don't have any passengers in the back. This whole uh, canopy system, the, the glass panels, the panoramic panels come out the top if you want to have open air driving, and this whole back panel comes off if you want to kind of turn it into like a, a, like a sport utility truck or a, like a little pickup truck. And so you mentioned solid, when you opened like up that. the front, where's the engine? Yeah. Where are the motors? So the motors are, uh, so there's two motors front and rear. They're AC-135 motors, and those are powered by the battery packs. And the battery packs uh, are either uh, two 30 kilowatt packs for a 60 kilowatt total pack for power. And that's the 120 mile range version. The bigger packs have 250s, and those are both under the, the, the driver and the passenger seat. And those uh, electrical boxes power the motors that are, again, in the front and rear between the wheels. And what's the total range with those? Total range, I'm sorry, is 200 for the 100 kilowatt pack. Gotcha. And it goes on sale when? So it's on sale now. We're taking pre-orders. We just introduced it in July, July 27th at a media program in New York City. We've got since then 12,000 hand raisers, 12,000 orders, and it's you can go online to BollingerMotors.com. It's zero down and no obligation right now. We haven't announced the pricing yet, which I know you want to ask me about. I do. Uh, and when we do, we'll open up the order book and we'll start building them in earnest and taking deposit money down. But right now, we didn't feel it was fair to start taking people's money without announcing an official price until we get everything with the building materials kind of baked into the plan. But still, 12,000 hand raisers, not knowing the price is pretty good. Yeah. I, I got to believe that even though you've done a lot for simplicity and to keep the cost down, this is not going to be a cheapie. <laughs> well, I mean, what would you pay for it? Well, you know, I got to believe a, a vehicle like this, very unique with the battery pack you're talking about, this has got to be a $100,000 vehicle. 
we'll take a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. I mean, again, it's it's a manufacturer's suggested retail price. So as you know, with classic cars, low volume cars and trucks, the dealers are kind of free to charge whatever they can get. You know, it's a free market economy. So, but we'll announce that soon. And made in USA. It's made in the USA. That's very important to our owner, Robert Bollinger, who started this. He's from the Catskills area of New York and really kind of started this endeavor because he needed to kind of a go anywhere, do anything vehicle for his farm. So it kind of, the genesis of this was just to have a, a kind of utilitarian farm vehicle for him. And that's what started out and that's what you see here, but it's really resonated with a number of people that just like the traditional design and like the functionality and like that there's really nothing like this on the market right now. Yeah. Jeff Holland, thanks so much for your time. All right, thanks John, good to see you again. Art. It can be sculpted, bringing to life beautiful detail. Are painted in luxurious strokes. And in rare cases. Both. 